the iPad was missing for the better part of two weeks. Um, fortunately for me, I was able to track it down. Um, originally, it was in Orange Walk, and um, I was prepared to go to Orange Walk to retrieve it there. However, this morning it moved, and we were able to track it to Ladyville at Ramon's Plaza. Um, upon going to Ramon's Plaza, um, we heard the beacon beeping, and um, the police went in, and we recovered the, the iPad from the bakery in, at Ramon's Plaza. So presently, we have the uh, person that was there um, detained to find out really and truly what actually happened. When we got to Ramon's Plaza, um, I waited for the police to come because I didn't want to go in there alone. And upon approaching the bakery, I could hear the, the beacon beeping. And um, when we got inside, there was resistance. The lady didn't want us to go where I heard the beacon. But um, we still went to the back room where it was, and it was in a, in a trunk. And again, she was raising objections, but it was right there in a black plastic bag. She brought it out, she opened the plastic bag, and there was my iPad. The house we are looking at, where you say your iPad was um, over the past two weeks, it has distinct features. Um, have you been, ab been able to use your connections to find out who this home belongs to? We're in the process of doing so, and I'm inviting the general public to, to assist in that process. I believe once the images are shown, that the ownership of that house would be easily discernible. I have pictures of the house um, that we got through the satellite and uh, through the technology that's attached to the iPad, and um, that I will make available to you so that your viewers can see um, where it is. Um, the iPad was in last mode, so... I'm not sure if the persons who had it were able to access it and access the information on it, but I will know that soon enough.